For all of tonight's recipes, go to 9msn.com.au forward slash home cooked. And for more of Julie's sumptuous meals, pick up a copy of the Australian Women's Weekly. Welcome back. Tonight we're making some really quick dinners and no dinner's complete without a really quick dessert. So this is a no-cook strawberry tart. So we're actually going to start with dessert. We are going to I start I love where dessert. you're going with this. <laughs> this is right up my alley. You set me to work and I'll just do whatever you tell me to. <laughs> no worries. Well, I'll get you to put 12 bickies into the food processor. Okay. And these are butternut snap biscuits. And the danger in my house, if I want to make this dessert, is that the boys will eat the biscuits. That's plenty. I was going to ask you that. Can we eat any of the ingredients? <laughs> <laughs> well, you could eat all of them. They're all yummy. So that's all of them in there? Yeah, that's full. Put this little baby on. Look, I'm professional already. Yeah, switch that off. Yep. So I'm going to get you to put that into a bowl. Yep. So, butter in? Yep, all the butter. So this is the base, is it? This is the base. It's a biscuit base. And it's a really easy way to do it, to use biscuits and some butter. And the butter um, sets in the freezer or in the fridge. Because this is a quick dessert, we're just going to whack it in the freezer so for a few minutes. How quick are we talking? Oh, look, 15 minutes. Really? Less. Well, the chilling time is really the longest part of this. So what we need to do now is spoon the biscuit base into the four dishes and spread the mixture evenly on the bottom. It's important that we press the biscuit mixture down firmly so that the crumbs will stick together when we chill it. Then we just pop it in the freezer for 10 minutes. Right, so those are in the freezer and we're gonna make the filling. So this is some mascarpone cheese. So that's cheese. It is. That it's... looks like cream to me. It, it does, delicious. doesn't it? You know, I've been eyeing this off since I arrived. Can I, I have to do this. <laughs> She's going to yell at me, but I've got to try. It's like cooking with the kids. They nick mm. the ingredients. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's so even better creamy. once it's done. Trust so me. So delicious. So yeah. delicious. Cheesy. Mm. Mm. To the mascarpone cheese, just add a tablespoon of icing sugar and a tablespoon of Grand Marnia and beat it all together. Next, slice a punnet of strawberries, which will be used as the lovely decoration. So in the few minutes that those have been in the freezer, the butter's going to have set, making the bases nice and firm and ready for the strawberry jam and the mascarpone filling. These little babies look quite good, I have to say. They do indeed. They're quite hard. Yep. So they've set. So I'm going to get you to put a good dollop of strawberry jam onto that and spoon it around. And is this just pure strawberry jam? Yes. Pure, simple strawberry mm -hmm. jam. Use the spoon to just spread it across the base, right over the base. Put about a quarter of my cheese filling on there and spread it to the edges. So now we'll decorate them with some strawberries. And this is sort of the presentation bit so you can make it look as pretty as you like. They look good, we did well. Yeah, we did. Do we need to pop these back in the fridge? Well, you can if you're going to eat them later on, but the best thing is you can tuck into them straight, straight away. Straight away. Mm-hmm. Let's good. do it. Weapons of choice. Thank you, indeed. These two are yours, these two are mine. Awesome. Let's go. They're good. They look delish. <laughs> mm hmm How good does this look? Yum. Mmm. So speechless. <laughs> How good. It's nice, eh? So you get all the flavours, the fresh mm -hmm. strawberries, the cream cheese, yep. the bickies, the crunch of the bickies. Ah, the bickies. And the liqueur. And the best thing is, all in under 15 minutes. Delish. So do you like that dessert? Loved dessert. Well, I've got something else for you. Well, there's room in my tummy for a little <laughs> bit more. What always, have you got? always. I hear you like halloumi. Yep, favourite. Well, Absolutely. this one's for you. It's a chorizo and halloumi skewer with some capsicum Good. and onion. And I'm going to make a beautiful fresh corn salad to go with I that. I love halloumi. Awesome. All right, I'll get you to okay. chop that up for me. Now, is this already cooked? It is. But I'm going to brown it right. and make it crispy and delicious. So all we need to do is slice the chorizo and cut some capsicum into squares. Then cube some halloumi cheese and chop an onion into chunky pieces. 
So do you get much time to cook? I don't home, actually. Yeah. No, I and usually I'm I'm living on my own, so mm -hmm. I cook for myself. And most of the time, it's pretty sad. Two minute noodles. Two minute take noodles. Away, or I yeah. Well, go to a mate's house and they cook for me. Oh, see, so it's I good really to have mates need like that. To, to find my feet in the kitchen. Well, you can see how quick and easy this is. We're cutting up four ingredients, putting it on a skewer, and they'll be grilled in a few minutes. Once all the ingredients are chopped, thread each skewer alternately with one piece of chorizo, one piece of halloumi, some capsicum, a piece of onion, and then repeat. Is this the part where we cue someone in to do the rest of it for us? No, <laughs> this is the fun bit. <laughs> Oh, we're nearly done here. After the break, we're going to cook them and I'll show you how to make a delicious Spanish corn salad. Hopefully it'll end up on the plate. <laughs> <laughs> and what challenge has Julie racing against the clock? Ready, set, go! Oh, God. Glad are proud sponsors of Home Cooked with Julie Goodwin. You can always count on Glad. Next time on Home Cooked, Julie's tips and tricks for the best roast ever with some mouth-watering side dishes and a dessert that never fails to impress. Plus actor Roy Billing carves it up in the kitchen. That's next time on Home Cooked. Welcome back. So I've just brushed these with a little bit of oil so they don't stick to the hot plate. I'm going to put those on the hot plate. Nick, do you want to cut me up some coriander, please? So coriander going into the mix. It how is. It's how going much into the, would you like? About a quarter of a cup, thanks. It's going into the salad. It's about half of this. About a half of the bunch. Why um, coriander? I think it's a beautiful flavour. It's uh, cilantro in Spanish. So uh, And this is very Spanish. This is a Spanish-style corn salad. Spanish-style. After we've chopped up the coriander leaves, we need to cut the corn off two freshly cooked cobs, then add two shallots that have been thinly sliced, along with the finely chopped capsicum and a diced red tomato. Then just mix it around with your hands. Now I'll get you to pass over the bowl and the mayonnaise and the chilli. OK, so this is the dressing? Yeah. So all you do in this is mayo and hot chilli sauce. It just depends on how spicy you I like love things. it spicy. Like it spicy? We'll whack it all in there. I'll give it, oh, I don't know about all. I might give it a good dollop do you though. Like, do you like um, heat in your food? Do I you? do like heat in my food, but I've also got to be aware that I'm cooking for a family. Right. The kids don't mind a little bit of heat, but not too much. So look at that, chilli mayonnaise. Simple as that. Beautiful. So when do you put the dressing on? You only put that on moments before you serve it because you don't want everything in there to go soggy, soggy. and I just love the colours. They're gorgeous. They're very fresh. Very fresh. It smells nice too. And when you get those off, just a little brush with balsamic glaze. A bit of sweetness? Yeah, a little bit of sweetness. Gorgeous. And that. So how long would you um, need to cook? Cooking time? Oh, look, I need... A few minutes, a few minutes on each side, a couple of minutes. Do we get to try them? Yeah. I'm stealing That's this the one. perks of the job. Mm. So how would you serve this? I would serve that on a plate next to some little baby cos lettuce leaves filled with that fresh corn salad. Or you can just use your hands. Well, you just face plant, Dig really. In. Yeah. Face plant. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Nat, most people think of omelettes as a brekkie food, but I'm going to show you how to make a quick dinner omelette in the same amount of time it's going to take you to toast that. So by the time I toast this, you'll yep. have whipped all this up. Dinner will be on. Have you ever done this before? Maybe. This is the first time. She's up for a challenge. OK, wait Ready? There. No. Ready, set, go! Oh, God. Quick! You don't know how to work that toaster, no. do you? Good. Awesome. Oh, I'm just going to stand over your shoulder. Put the pressure on. You are putting How the pressure long does it on, take aren't you? To toast some bread. Uh, about two minutes. You keep watching the toast because the more you watch it, I won't distract you. The longer it takes to cook. Come on, toast. Good on you. So for a dinner omelette, you want it to be a little bit more substantial than a brekkie omelette, I on, guess. Toast. What are you throwing in there? So I'm going to have some basil, a little bit of fresh basil, a little bit of shaved salami. You can put ham, whatever you like. A little bit, this is semi-dried tomato. 
Now, are we talking burnt toast? Goat's cheese. Or just oh, absolutely slightly burnt. cooked no, toast? No, burnt, burnt. <laughs> Bit of goat cheese. Should never wait for toast. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper. Come here, salt. Bit of salt. I can hear that starting to sizzle. I'm going to put a bit of balsamic because okay. I love that with goat's okay, cheese. Okay, now this is getting ridiculous. Just a trickle. I don't think there's anything happening with the toast. Just a trickle. Oh, it smells good. Okay, here comes my toast. Don't pressure me. Here comes my toast. That's the sound. That's a very technical toast, though. Mine just... the toast hitting the plate. No, oh, come on, just go slow-mos for me. Go slow-mos for me. Buttered toast or not yeah, buttered toast? Yeah, it ought to be buttered. It ought to be buttered. Oh. Pretty, pretty damn close. Pretty damn close. <laughs> Presentation. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Two minute on it. Is it edible though? It's edible. Let's dig in. Yum.